Hey guys, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video. Today we're going to be talking about the Self-Assured Victory Declaration Super Saiyan Goku. Now this is going to be the Goku that we got as the reward for the 250 million downloads um, uh, event that we ended up going up against JP for. Uh, essentially it was like a whole bunch of stamina used, the amount of cards you Z awaken, trained, uh, how many times you beat a stage, things like that. So, I mean, we, we won uh, the actual card, the actual uh, actual event, but a lot of us felt like we lost, and that was because every a lot of people wanted the Frieza. And I think the reason why everyone wanted the Frieza is because, well, it was a Final Form Frieza no one really had. We don't really have that many Final Form Friezas. We did just get the new one that released in the banner that came out along with this Goku, but that Frieza was definitely um, unique just because we didn't have a lot of them. He was a physical type as well. But in this video, we're not going to be talking about that card. I will be doing a separate video covering that Frieza. So if you guys are interested, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, that one will be released a couple days after this uh, video that I put up. Maybe two, three days after this. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but this is going to be the Goku. Who knows? Actually, I think I might put this out on Monday and do the Frieza and the Goku together in one day. We'll have to see. Anyway, uh, this Goku, uh, let's go ahead and talk about him. His leader ability, all types, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 30%. Super attack is angry Kamehameha, causes supreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill. Fruitless ending. Key plus 3, attack and defense plus 77% when HP 77% or below. Link skills are Z Fighters, Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior Ace, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha. He's part of the Pure Saiyans and Planet Namek Saga categories. Max stats are going to be HP of 5772, attack of 7041, and defense of 3105. Uh, with base dupe system of 6972, attack of 70, uh, 8241, and defense of 4305. Now, it's only available on the global version, so if you guys on the JP side are wondering, you did not get this. Uh, if you guys are looking at this video after the 250 million download celebration, you will not be able to get this card again. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is never going to come again. It's from, we're just winning the, the SSR Super Saiyan Goku reward for the 250 million downloads event. Uh, so you will not be able to get this card in the future if you're wondering. Uh, his uh, 12 key multiplier is 130%, and he can have his super attack increase with these three, three Super Saiyan Gokus. Um, so we will actually go ahead and talk about that. I think I already did that in one video, but I'll go ahead and talk about that in a minute as well. He does not have a Doken Awakening. He probably never will have a Doken Awakening. Um, so in terms of this card, I think a lot of people also feel like we got shafted on it because of the fact that, um, well, not only is the, the, the Frieza a little bit more unique than the Goku, there are so many damn Super Saiyan Gokus. Not only are there so many Super Saiyan Gokus, we have like three super strength Super Saiyan Gokus. I believe it's three. I know we have the Rage one. I know we have um, the OG Super Saiyan Goku. And then we have the Kamehameha Goku. <clears throat> and those three, um, the family, uh, the, the, the actual family Kamehameha Goku. Now those three are all strength Gokus. And this is another one. So this, this is a fourth strength Goku. Oh, and not, not to mention uh, this Goku down over here. This is from the last instant transmission Super Saiyan Goku that came from the crossover with One Piece. So, I mean, we have so many of Strength Super Saiyan Gokus, and this guy doesn't really fit into the meta. Now, by what I mean by that is passive skills, key plus three, attack and defense plus 77%. Uh, so, just that alone is decent, right? <clears throat> but they had to put this thing on here where it was seven, uh, HP 77% or below. So, it's kind of like, well, you, know, you have to wait for your HP to drain down in order for that to come into effect. When it comes into effect, it's not horrible. But this meta, and I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I think that this is like end of first year, beginning of second year, decent meta. You know, but we're, we're, we're just started. We're, we're, we're ha we just finished the third year anniversary, let me put it like that. Uh, on the JP side, they're almost, they're going to be at the fourth year very, very shortly. So it, this card isn't even that viable anymore. I'm not saying that the Frieza is viable. They have the exact same, in, uh, the same exact kind of super and passive, but... This card isn't even viable anymore. It's cool as a reward, but I feel like that was definitely why a lot of people were a little bit more upset, just because at least if they had the Frieza, it, it would not be as useless as this Goku card, just because there's so many other Super Saiyan Goku. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about it. First off, if you want to talk about getting him to Super Attack 10, if you guys are trying to do that free to play, you're going to go to the uh, Epic Enough Talk Epic uh, Showdown event. You're going to go ahead and grind out this card. You have to get nine of them. You have to go through. You're going to have to get uh, the, all these. Well, you're going to have to get the Goku medals from another event over here. I don't really want to make this a full video on how to do this. You're going to go over to the uh, the video to the, the, the location of area 11, 12, or 13, where you can go ahead and get the Goku medals in order to Doken Waken him. Doken Wakens to um, message from another world, Goku Angel. Uh, you're going to Doken Waken him with three of the Frieza medals from uh, the actual uh, the, the Epic Time, the Epic Showdown event. That's going to be on stage two of it. Um, so it's level two, and you're going to go over here to the Z hard stage. From there, you're going to get the Super Saiyan Goku, and Super Saiyan Goku, you're going to Z-Awaken him. 
for 100% chance to increase his super attack. Uh, or if you want, I mean, I don't know why you would wait for it. When the Battle of Gods event is here, it, it, it is going to save you some uh, Zenny, and it's going to save you uh, a little bit of, uh, of medals in order to do it. But you get to train anywhere, Goku. This is going to be from the Dragon Ball Super event. Um, he is going to awaken with 10 Beerus medals and 10 Whis medals. Um, that is going to be both available from Stage 1 and 2 of the event. Then you're going to go ahead and get the Super Saiyan Goku. Then you have to Z-Awaken him again um, with uh, the Dr. Jiro medal, so it saves you some medals. Uh, but when you do that, then he has a 50% chance of increasing the Super Attack of the Super Saiyan Goku. That's the two ways to do it for free-to-play. The other one was the crossover event. That's why this one's here, but that's never coming back. I mean, if it ever does come back, hey, that's awesome, but I don't think it's ever going to come back. Um, in terms of best linking buddies in-game... Uh, best linking buddy is going to be Super Saiyan 2 Goku, which is not fantastic. Keep us two, attack plus 20% for all allies when HP is 50% or above. So if you think about that, with these two being linked together, um, you are going to have to make sure your HP is between 50 and 77%, which is only a 27%. Um, health range, which kind of sucks. Uh, while it would be nice while they're they're right in between the two of them, uh, he's going to have he will have 11 key at all times at that point. Uh, plus the nice buffs he gets between the two of them, but it's very difficult to do. The only one that I would probably say might be a little bit more viable to link right next to him was going to be the Super Saiyan 2 Team Gohan. He is all allies attack and defense plus 35% no matter what. So he will link with him for Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan Z Fighters, Kamehameha. Um, that's going to be 25% attack buff, one key flat out buff of 3200 uh, between Kamehameha and Saiyan Warrior Race. Uh, this Goku has the same link skills, by the way, so it's just, uh, uh, let's link. Golden Warrior, Super Sa uh, Saiyan Warrior A, Super Saiyan Z, Fighters Kamehameha. I mean, the only thing I will say, they should have probably given him prepared for battle. I don't know what the idea was for giving him not giving him prepared for battle. Maybe it's because it was against the fight with Frieza and he wasn't really prepared for it and he just kind of got lucky. I don't know. But that's what I'm saying right here for them. This is what I'm going to uh, say for his two best linking buddies. Uh, in terms of, for Mono Strength Team, you have the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. That will link with him, Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior A, Super Saiyan Kamehameha which isn't really that great because it's only one key and 10% attack buff with the flat up buff. And then you also have Goten over here, which is Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, uh, Saiyan Warrior Race, and Kamehameha, which is the same thing. So those are his two best linking buddies on a mono strength team. And again, uh, this is more for those of you who are brand new players just because he's not going to really link. I mean, he's not very viable in game. So for those of you who are new, this is probably going to help you out. I mean, let me put it like this. At least his leader ability, all types key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 30%. That will help you out on all of the OG events. That will definitely help you out on all the OG events, and it will help you out on the 70% events if you're doing anything other than the Super Vegito. Um, because at that point, Super Vegito, you're not going to really want to take um, a strength unit, if you can help it. Uh, moving on over here, this is the Planet Namek Saga. Uh, he doesn't have that many people he links that well with here. He does have his Kaioken variant, which is at least that's cool. Uh, you have Saiyan War Race, Z Fighters, Kamehameha, so it's just flat out boss. There's no key there. You're going to really need your HP to drop below 77% for consistent super attacks with him. Uh, you also have the three-year three, three year, uh, Goku, third-year anniversary Goku with Z Fighters Kamehameha. And then you also have the Easy A Gohan for Saiyan Warrior Race and Z Fighters as well. So between all three of these guys, he really has no key links, which is definitely going to suck. Um, so Planet Namek Saga, but then again, Planet Namek Saga, they're not that many really good units. Uh, there are some definitely key units you're going to want to run, but uh, you're not going to want to run this Goku on that team. But anyway, if you do have only have him, these are who he's going to link with. If you got this Ka uh, Kaioken Goku, it's definitely good for you because he's going to be a very good unit for it. Um, last but not least, this is the pure Saiyan category. So Super Saiyan 2 Goku, we already talked about. We need to translate that to English. Um, we have this Super Saiyan 2 Goku as well. This one is skill and strength key plus three. So that's like technique and, and strength, I believe that is. Um, the agility Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, which is HP is 99% or left, all allies key plus three. Or sorry, Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Um, so that one will become uh, a little bit more decent for him in terms of links. He shares four link skills with him. Uh, Golden Warrior, Battle of the uh, Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan Kamehameha. Uh, this Super Saiyan 2, all the Super Saiyan 2 Goku is pretty much linked with him. Key plus two, uh, all allies, key plus two, attack plus 20% up. Not that bad. Um, uh, this Super Saiyan 2 Goku, Angel. Uh, yeah, this is the one that you got from the event, the Epic Showdown event. After he goes Super Saiyan, uh, he goes to Super Saiyan 2. So he is uh, key plus five, attack plus... Oh no, I'm sorry, that's a different attack. Uh, this is a different uh, Super Saiyan 2 Goku, but when this one Doken Awakens, gets Doken Awakens, he's pretty decent. Um, and then this is the Vegeta, uh, Super Vegeta. Super Vegeta is also a support unit. Uh, speed and power, unfortunately, I, th I think that is not going to be straight. Let's go over to the wiki really quick and look at Vegeta and go to the Super Vegeta. It's, it's speed and power. I don't know if that means physical, because it usually says body for uh, for that kind of stuff. So here we go. I think it's it's agility and strength. Oh, okay, so it's agility, strength, and physical. So he will be able to help him out there um, with some support. 
But again, if you if you realized it, <clears throat> every single one of these guys is a support unit. They're all support units, so you're going to need to really look at to see what one's going to benefit you and if you really need to have that support there. Um, four link skills is really are decent, I guess. Um, Super Vegeta does have Z Warriors, which is interesting on it. So he has Super Saiyan and Z Warriors, which is the two nice attack links you're going to want to have because they're both uh, percentage-based buffs. He also has Saiyan Warrior Race for a 700 uh, attack buff and Golden Warrior for one key. So I would say this is probably more relevant, but because everyone here has a passive skill that may, or not everyone, but uh, most of them will have d passive skills that are always there that are going to benefit this Goku. Uh, so overall, he at least has some decent support. But go ahead, pick and choose your team. Super Saiyan 2, Goku's all around. <laughs> and Super Vegeta is going to be the best for at least the Pure Saiyans team. But then again, I don't really see anyone really running him out of Pure Saiyans. But um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of the card myself. Uh, I do have him. I'm not going to Super Attack 10 him unless we get like that crossover event where it becomes really easy to. Because um, I'm not going to go through that grind for him. I'm gonna. I still have to do my Rage Goku. But not my Rage Goku. Um, the physical Goku from the Korra event. Um, or the Kura event, or the Cooler event, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so um, I got to get off the Super Attack 10. I still have a couple left over from the um, uh, from the crossover event. I'm gonna train them into him. I've been waiting to put them in. I want to do it on live stream or on a video, just because it's like you know one of those iconic things. I've been holding on to them for so long. It's been like over a year, and I still have those cards. But um, yeah, guys, that's it for today's video. Let me know what you think about us winning the event, because uh, I am primarily a global player, so I'm I'm okay with it. Uh, I was a little bit upset about the freezer, but then again, I did pull the other final forward freezer, the strength one, so I, I'm not too upset. But anyway, guys, thank you again for joining me here today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button in the, down below in the little red box, and I'll catch you down in the comments below. Peace.